Hi guys, recently Uski Vision, or at least I think that's how it's pronounced, has sent me their new vlogging kit for actually compact cameras. Now I'm going to briefly show you guys what's inside. Inside this very nicely packed box, you can see that there are a few accessories. Alright, let's start with this one. You have this nice new mini tripod, this cardioid mic, a phone holder, and a light. I won't be going into details on the rest of it, but we'll just mount up a simple compact camera setup and we'll be able to head on to this place behind us, which is basically an art science museum. We'll be going to some sort of a video game exhibition to be able to test this whole thing out. Alright, let's set up the thing first. So the setup that we're working with today is with my Sony ZV-1. As you guys know, this is my compact camera, the only one ever since I sold my RX100. So let's start with this uh, mini tripod. Okay, it does not have the quick screw, so we just have to just manually turn it in. So next, let's insert the light. You have this little light with the rubber filter on top of the Sony ZV-1. Next, let's insert the microphone, which is this cardioid microphone. And along with this foam uh, filter, it actually really does help reducing the popping noises that is made from some of the words that we actually speak. <laughs> let's insert it on the top. Last but not least, the wires here and over here. Alright, and here we have a very nice and simple vlogging setup. If not, let's head on and be able to test this whole thing out. As you can see, actually, this is the setup. Okay, unfortunately, it can't go very tall. This is probably the maximum height. So I have to place it on top of this little bench over here. Alright, we are going to a completely dark room. So I'm going to just on the light to be able to test the strength. And probably on it at its maximum before we go in. Two, three. Alright, so this is the strongest. in a dark room and it's almost pitch black let's test out the light all right so here is the first strength the second and here's the third once we take out the filter you can see that it's a lot stronger but of course more spotted in some of the areas so let's put it back on and this is the more filtered light so do let me know what do you guys think about the audio so far coming out of this cardioid mic I don't expect it to be as good as the road video mic which was actually shot in the first few scenes but I think it will do much better than any onboard microphone Okay, let's head on to the next room Three. So just now something very interesting actually one of the staff was asking me about this YouTube thing He was asking me if uh, I'm doing this for YouTube and, and Stuff. So I was just sharing him that I was and, and actually doing this for the channel.
I hope you guys enjoy this quick outdoor test with this little simple vlogging kit. We're gonna head back studio with this vlogging kit. We'll break down what comes inside it and the specifications, how big, how small, how much battery it has. If not, follow me and let's head back to the home studio. Now that we are back in the studio, I hope it has given you an idea of how functional this vlogging kit is. Let's go to the details into each one of these accessories and what comes in its retail package. So first up, we have the mini tripod. And then we have the cardioid mic. The light, along with this rubber filter. The phone mount. And you can see on top, there's this uh, cold shoe mount over here. But we'll go into the details later on. We have a dead cat, the foam filter for the microphone, USB cable, the wire that connects it to your camera, a wire that connects to your mobile phone, action camera mount, and this menu itself. So overall, this is what is included in this vlogging kit. Now let's go a little bit deeper on the measurements. Starting with this mini tripod, it measures about 16 cm or about 6.2 inches. Once you have it extended, it goes out to about 29 cm or about 11.4 inches. When we take a closer look, it has this rotatable ball head over here, which you can just loosen it here and you can just turn it around, which is really good if you want to compose it to a portrait or a landscape mode for your camera. The titanium knob also has a quarter inch adapter to be able to help you to mount accessories. And at the feet, you can see that there's these rubber grippings over here which makes it really good if you are on very flat surfaces which sometimes can be quite slippery. Now next is the light that it comes with. Now this light comes with this rubber filter which actually filters down the light. Now let's on the light itself and you will be able to see there are three increments. This is the smallest, the second and the strongest. Now once you put the filter, you can see that it filters quite a lot of the light. This is the without the filter and you can see the light is really harsh so once you put it on, you can see that my highlights is so much more pleasant. Now how long can this battery last? This battery has about 2000 milliamps, which can last about 4 hours of usage in my experience. At the top of the light, you can also see that there's this cold shoe mount over here which allows you to mount the microphone as seen at the starting of the video. Now since we're at it, let's talk more about the microphone. Now this microphone is a cardioid microphone, meaning that all the audio picks up from the front. In terms of its physical measurements, it's about 8.5 cm or 3.3 inches. When I hit on it, you can clear that it's not made out of a very strong and high quality material, but it does keep the overall setup light. And comparing with other microphones such as my Rode Video Micro, it does not have this Lycoat Raya suspension mount to be able to reduce the vibrations. But let's analyze the audio quality later and see if it reflects that. Next, let's talk about its phone holder. Now this is the phone holder itself, and it's actually very useful if you are planning to do mobile photography as you can open it up and mount your phone or even small tablets on it. At the top, you can see that there's this cold shoe mount for you to mount microphones or light. And there's also this uh, 4 inch screw adapter over here which you also can mount other accessories to actually make it a more thorough setup. Now these are the main accessories. The rest, I don't think you guys will want to know more information as they are actually quite obvious. These are actually filters for the microphone, wires and the action mount as you can saw from the top down unboxing. So let's talk more about its audio quality and light quality. But before that, if you guys enjoy my content, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below as it will be a small way to thank me for the time taken to put this whole video together. Do also support me on my Patreon channel over here for as little as $3 a day to be able to extend your help for me to get more stuff to review for this channel. Alright, from the footage that we're shot in outdoors, let's talk about its light and audio quality. As you can hear, the sound coming out from this cardioid microphone is definitely better than the one recorded from the internal mic of the Sony ZV-1. And this is the audio that is coming out from my Sony ZV-1, the internal microphone itself, without the PCM-1 uh, vlogging microphone. We're going to head back to the studio and be able to break down what comes inside this vlogging kit and the specifications, how big, how small. It does have clearer vocals and less background noises. Though I would say it's not as good as other microphones such as the Rode Video Mic Go which I'm using, it still gives you an edge and an advantage over not having one. Next, let's talk about its light quality that is coming out from this little light itself. The light that's coming out from this is sufficient enough to lead up your face in the dark room and certainly quite easy to bring around as it's really small, fitting at the palm of your hand. But if there are places which have a different kind of lighting, I think it will be quite challenging as this does not offer a variety of colour of light to match your background. It isn't the best, but I would say it's really good to have. Now let's move on to the price. But before that, let's assemble and put everything back here. Ta-da! Now this whole thing comes in about 59 USD with all the accessories included. 
Now one thing I forgot to mention at the start is there's, there's this lovely handle at the top which allows you to carry this around. Now this might be a simple design you might think but not all hard cases come with it. So I'm really grateful that Uski Vision included this in this whole vlogging set. Now that you know the price, let's talk about its pros and cons. Now the first pro is obviously this whole carrying case. Now this whole carrying case does have a strong hard casing as you can hear. It seems to be able to take knocks once you drop it on the ground and not having a dent which I think is really amazing. Number two, I really like that the microphone and the light is a very simple part in play. Some other microphones might require you to put in batteries which might be a bit of a hassle as you forgot to charge some of your batteries and the whole microphone cannot function. Same for the light, some lights might require you to be able to adjust it to correct colour temperature before having it to on. Whereas this has only one function which makes them rather simple. Third, I would say it's actually this mobile phone mount. Now it's actually very useful having to be able to have this cold shoe mount, this screw over here to be able to help you to make your setup much bigger and more personalised for your own filmmaking. Now with all the pros mentioned, let's talk about its cons. Now the first con I would say is obviously coming out from the light itself, it has only one colour temperature. As you can see from the light temperature over here, it is much cooler and not very accurate. As you can see all the other lights in my room is a little bit warmer and closer to daylight. Number two is the mini tripod. If you can look up close of the ball head design, there's no way to have a fast screw mechanism. What do I mean? Every time I need to mount up my camera, I need to turn either the whole tripod itself or the camera itself to have it mounted. Compared to the one that I have for my Yulan Z, which has this fast screw mount. Now let me show you how convenient this fast screw mount is compared with just this way of turning it in. So instead of turning the camera or the tripod, all I need to do is just put it in this way and just turn this screw in which is a much more simple mechanism to have your camera mounted. I don't think it's a lot more expensive to have this mechanism included, so this is definitely a con for me. With the pros and cons out of the way, let's conclude. Should you get this vlogging kit or should you not? Just comparing the price itself for perspective, Rode Video Micro Kit starts at about 135 USD and can go up to 150 USD for a different variant, which is double or even triple of what this whole thing costs. But albeit, Rode does provide better microphone but it actually costs 200% more overall which you can probably use to be able to get lights or other accessories to be able to enhance your overall fogging setup. So unless you're an audiophile, this whole thing at the price of 59 USD does improve every aspect of your vlogging experience. You have the mini tripod for stability, the lights to be able to give you better lighting and the microphone to give you better vocals. If you look at all of these accessories separately and get it from brands such as Manfrotto or even for Yulan Z, you can expect at least a 20-50% to 50 increase in price. So overall, even Uski Vision has not paid me to say this, I will highly recommend this vlogging kit to be able to increase the quality that's coming out from your vlogging setup. If you have enjoyed this video, do ring the bell notification over here so that you'll be updated of my latest upload. And if you can't wait for my latest upload, do check out my gear playlist over here. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.